Hey guys, Dr. Mara here on May 23rd, 2013. And I was guided to do a video on amnesia, of all things. And uh, it'll be clear a little later in this video why I chose that. And uh, as above, so below. So what do I mean by that? A lot of people say that. Things happen to us and all around us, you're seeing things that are um, brought to our attention and there to guide us along our path. And for those who have eyes to see, the information for your awakening is all around you. And I was thinking about this last night and some of the movies that I, I really enjoy are the ones that have a twist at the end. And um, I was thinking about uh, a movie Gina Davis did. Um, oh, the Long Kiss Goodnight or something like that, where uh, she was, um, it starts out where she's a housewife and she's uh, chopping up vegetables, as I recall this was years ago. And the next thing you know, she, starts rapidly cutting up these vegetables and she throws a tomato into the air and throws a knife that sticks right through it and then it drops and then she's excited like wow and her husband is like what the heck is going on and and, and then it then you find out that she has amnesia and she says well I must have been a chef in you know before and she's trying to regain her memory but as time goes on um, these gifts if you want to call them that Come online, and she starts to have these abilities that she just didn't know because she has amnesia. And then, you know, fast forward ahead to the Born Identity uh, series, and Jason Bourne on there, he uh, has amnesia. And if you follow through the series, then he finally realizes at the end um, who he was and how he got to where he currently was in that moment. And then even fast forward a little bit further, uh, Liam Neeson uh, in a movie uh, called Unknown, I believe. And this has a really good twist. I usually can uh, read a movie like a book. I already know what's going to happen many times. But this one had me totally shocked at the end. So it's a good movie for you guys to check out. Um, I tried to stay away from these movies at one time just because the action caused such an emotional stir in me and sometimes it can bring you down a vibration. But I started to revisit some of these videos because, or these movies, because I want to see how I look at them today compared to years ago whenever I watched them with a new awareness. And as we wake up, um, which is a, uh, a metaphor from what I'm talking about, these movies, as above, so below. All this information, including uh, the mainstream media and movies, nature all around us, the information's there if you change your perspective and you look at things in a different way. Instead of becoming the victim or continuing that victim role that we've all, you know, maybe once to we, we just don't uh, we don't need to go there anymore and start to empower yourself and remember and awaken to your true identity and know that we've come here with the veils put on for the purpose of helping one another for the purpose of uh, this, this experience uh, this drama and now it's time to change our viewpoint to, okay, it's time to wake up, and it's coming to the end of the movie, and all these things will come online if you so choose, and if you allow it, and you see things from a higher perspective or a different vantage point. And the reason I'm, br the reason I'm bringing this up now is because we're so far along in our ascension, our transitions, and all these, the, the confusion that we just talked about in the last video, and the journeys, this is all part of it, but no, there are tools all around us that we can use uh, to help us, help guide us through this thing we call life. 
and to wake up and to remember who we truly are. And I think that's what it's going to be like, the movies, is, is like we've had this amnesia collectively and individually. And as we go forward and as these energies stream through, it's raising our vibration to a point where we're going to wake up. And some of us are waking up earlier and little pieces of ourselves are remembering who we are. And um, eventually we will have full consciousness of who we are, who we were, other lifetimes, and, and so on. Some of us are already doing that now. And this is just a reminder to people that um, feel stuck, feel um, lack, uh, as we talked about before. If you start to see things in a different viewpoint, your life will totally change for the better, if you so choose it. And we choose our life that we live. We can stay in a relationship that is holding us back. We can stay in financial hardship. The ego mind tells us we have to do it this way and this is the only way. But if you step out of the situation for a short period of time and say, okay, well, how else can I look at this? Can I take a position just to start the flow of energy going? And as this energy streams in, you become financially stable to the point where you can be looking for other positions that um, you would rather do. And this is a lesson for me and everybody. These are things I've learned along the way, and they just they re-manifest if you need them. Uh, another thing is uh, the nature that's all around us. And what I, one of the tools I wanted to talk about is uh, nature, uh, nature Speaks, or Animal Speaks, which is uh, Teddy Andrews. And this is a pocket guide that I got a few years back. And it's awesome because I just chose this one. Uh, it's a uh, butterfly. If you're seeing butterfly after butterfly, you know what? We have another tool called the Internet and Google. we got all these tools to use. Look it up. See what it means. And uh, this individual, Ted Andrews, um, gave us a blessing of figuring out, what do these animals mean to us? Why do I keep seeing these same things over and over again? Well, butterfly means new birth, for instance. New love and joy are coming. Transformation is inevitable, but will be easier than expected. Embrace the new beginnings. And I really think that's appropriate for right now. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of butterflies while I'm walking, and you know that um, just like a caterpillar makes a transformation into a butterfly, there's process. And that's basically what humanity and the earth and uh, the universe, it's, we're being rebirthed. And we're, we're moving into um, a higher aspect of ourselves, and we're bringing online these other aspects, bring all this to ourselves here in physicality. And you'll see this, it'll be more evident and obvious as time goes by. But right now you can see it if you so choose. You know, some people are, you know, old school and want to just wait till their five senses can perceive it. Other people are like, look, I can't wait for that. I'm ready to see, you know, uh, life getting better as, as we we um, progress here and you know as I've said in the past I, I've seen patients because that's what I had, had done for a living um, they would get stuck into the paradigm of I'm gonna work put money back until I'm 65 and then go out and enjoy my life for a short period of time meanwhile they haven't taken care of their physicality their spirituality all aspects of humanity. They put some money back, which is nice, but by the time they would get to that point, so many times in my own personal uh, experience, these patients would retire within a week, a month, a year especially, they would cross over. So I'm not saying that you know they did anything wrong. I'm saying that maybe if, if you're on that path, you know, continue, continue to be responsible with your finances and all that, but don't forget to live for the now moment. Don't put it off till later because there's a lot of things that you can miss as far as experiences along the way. And that would probably be the most important message that I can give. It's something that I've learned over the years. And, and so 
it was a blessing to me to have those patients teach me those lessons because they've crossed over. I'm left here with the knowledge of their experience and to know that, you know, in you know, the past couple of years I've been traveling and things like that, but I really haven't been living, you know? And it's a new insight to me. It's like I've said it a lot and I've tried to be it, but now it's becoming more real. You know, this illusion that, that we've all put before ourselves. We could say that we're a victim and the cabal did this and that. You know what? We all decided to be here. We all decided to play the part. So, you know, if you want to go down the victim role, I mean, we are in du duality. You can do that if you want to play that out. But know that you have a choice. And just by changing your perspective and using some of these tools, like I said, like Ted Andrews here, um, Doreen Virtue does a great job with uh, numerology, astrology, um, intuitive healers, and psychics, mediums. If everybody has different words for uh, or connotations for the various people that are uh, teachers out there. So anyway, just a quick reminder to live in the present moment. Take care of yourself, all aspects of yourself. Try to balance yourself. Uh, and I mean in every part of your life, you know, if you're too much in spirituality, you're missing the boat. If you're too grounded, you're missing the boat. So this is something that, again, you know, I have known all this, but it's becoming more and more clear to me what that really means. And whenever I lived in Pennsylvania, it was a grounded energy. It's, you know, there's forests and trees and animals, and it's not really a high vibration, you know, uh, more grounded there's more technology there there's more roads if you just look at a map you can see how congested the people are and all that so it just is a more dense energy and when I lived there I thought it was um, it's too grounded too dense not realizing that you can balance yourself wherever you are whatever location and it was a blessing for me to travel out west especially to like Arizona and uh, Nevada I felt the high energies, and I thought, wow, this is where everybody should be, not realizing that if I'm too much in the higher vibrations, then I'm out of, out of balance, and I'm missing the boat. So here in New Mexico, it's a fiery energy, and it's a high vibration. So I just traveled back home, and I, I really needed to do that. I needed to get grounded, and uh, because for the last two years, I've been here, I've been traveling, but I really haven't been balanced. And I was too far, you know, in, in the fiery uh, energies. So it was nice to get grounded and come back. And then it took a few days to, to assimilate everything that I've experienced. And uh, so I'm at 13 minutes here. I got to watch the clock now, so I don't have to make these uh, annoying uh, two parts. And uh, so I'm going to sign off for now. And uh, remember to live in the now and wake up from the amnesia that we're, most of us are in at this time. And uh, don't forget to balance. And sending you guys love, light, and laughter. Until next time, uh, 